Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. And welcome back to Green Purple. We're back playing Jack and Daxter, and there's the Muse. We're gonna get him. He can actually be pretty tough to get. You have to use your, like, long jump and, like, cut the corners to, like, have any chance of getting him. Come on. And I, do you have to punch him? I can't remember. Where did he even go? Right there. Oh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Because he'll just... I already went ahead and, like, cleared out this area of enemies. Dang it. I'm gonna get you. No, it's just gonna hiss at you. Like Lavender does to me on Saturday nights. She just hisses at me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I don't remember that, but alright. If you say so. I'm like, hey, Lavender, wanna we'll play a game? <laughs> 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 Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe later. <laughs> I guess she's just not feeling it. <laughs> she's just in a bad mood. This is one of those days. Oh, really? He's so close, I can taste it. <laughs> He's so close, I can almost taste it. <sighs> just like this lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. got him. And we murder him. Yeah, we just, we just, throw, <laughs> we just throw him in our back. But you see Jack's face, he's just like, what have we done? <laughs> like, Daxter, what the hell? Dude, there are like children here. God. All right, let's go back this uh, this way. Oh, we haven't. Have we talked about on the show? What? About um, these two guests that came in. To our store where we work at, mm -hmm. um, that were like in their bathing suits. Because uh, you, you might have. Okay. Go go ahead though. Just in case, I, I I don't know. I probably have. If I have, if I haven't, whatever. Um, but there was just one day. I forgot when it was. It was a while back. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too far back. But like there was these two guests that came into the store that Austin and I work at. Right. Oh. Yeah, this is just like a big fighting pit thing, and also they shoot these at you again. Uh, but these two guests came in, and uh, at first I only noticed the guy. Sorry, go on. At first I only noticed the uh, guy, and he was just like, all he was wearing was a pair of shorts and right. no shirt. That's I mean, which is fine to wear in a Target, right? <laughs> And it was fine. I mean, it's like, okay, whatever. Right. But then there's this, uh, there's this, um, I didn't notice that he was with a lady. He had a lady friend that was with him. <laughs> he had a lady friend. And she was wearing, um, a very risque, um, I can't see swimming that. outfit. Right. Like, one that was where if she had moved the wrong way, mm -hmm. like, there would have been a nipple slip. Right. I, I think I've said it before, but, like, I don't know why people even, like, wear those ones. I'd just be, like, afraid constantly. That right, like, yeah, <laughs> it's like something's gonna slip. Right. But I guess, that, I mean, more power to them, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll admit, they were, they, they had fit. nice, they had nice bodies. Right. You're like, I was like, they, they, they work out. Yeah. But, like, maybe not at a target. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe not here. Uh, but I mean, all in all, I don't care that you're wearing that. Just the place. I felt right. like Professor o Oak. There's a time and place <laughs> for everything. everything. <laughs> you try and get your bike out in town. Another time. And it's a, just a bike, Professor Oak. <laughs> What's the big deal? How are you seeing this? I'm a little worried. I'm always watching. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to hide these two pickers here. Let's see. Ah, trying to be sneaky, aren't you? Well, it doesn't work. Not on me. I'm a little bit smarter than that. At least today. Tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow's... Tomorrow, maybe not. Ah, uh, you know. You know, I take it day by day. <laughs> Let's go up here. Yeah. Oh, but it's like a... Um... What's it called? A sling bikini. I think that's oh, what they're yeah. called. 
Like, you have to be very brave to wear that. Right. Yeah, I mean... Because I don't even understand how they, like... How does this work? <laughs> I don't even understand the physics of it. Like, how does this keep you... It's t it's tied just tight enough. Okay. <laughs> just any, just any looser, it all fall apart. Yep. Yeah, no, that's that's probably the harder part. Finding one that fits you, and, like, it has to be tight. <laughs> it has to fit just right, otherwise you're going to have some problems. <laughs> Oh. That's fine. We're fine. They're stupid. Damn. Oh. He got mad. I'm sorry. Why would you why would you call him out like that, Kayla? <laughs> Thanks, Daxter. <laughs> These orbs. Damn. That's how you know you have a good friend. Whenever you just die and they're like, ah, eh, better you than me. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not dead. Someone's got to tell your story, you know? <laughs> Dead. Yeah, that's right. I get that blue eco, though. I don't know if I can make it here. That's a pretty far away. I also had this one guest that, like... She kept calling me sweetie. Which I understand, that's just how... That's just how some people talk, right? right. It's, it can be a little annoying sometimes. I'm like, I'm not, I don't know you. <laughs> And I have one guess, like, after I helped her, she said, um, she said, thank you, and then she, like, winked at me. Yeah. And I was like, uh, <laughs> uh, you're welcome, I guess. I just, I just cut some meat for you. <laughs> you don't, you don't gotta be like that, you know? I wasn't supposed to come down here yet. I didn't, like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I didn't make your day. <laughs> Austin, tell your story of that, uh. No. Yes! No. <laughs> Your family. I was. <laughs> no, he came quick. Uh, I was working and this <laughs> customer came up to me and I was filling apples and she's like, she's like, oh, well, I'm so sorry to ruin here. Just like all people do this all the time. You're like filling something and then they like apologize when they come and like get some of it. I'm like, look, you're supposed to buy it. It's okay. But uh. She just keeps apologizing. She's like, I'm so sorry. I uh, ruined your whole display. Uh, you're making it look so nice. And I was like, it's fine. It's fine. No, really, it's fine. And then she goes, oh, it's just like whenever your mother, you know, she mops the floor and you just come in, you track mud all over the floor. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> and she's like, but it's okay. And then she just stops putting apples in her bag. And she's like, puts her hand on my shoulder and she goes, because you're family. <laughs> and I was like, and then she just walked away. And I was like, oh. Uh... And after Austin told me that, of course, for the rest of the <laughs> time that we were there, every time I saw him, I was like, Austin, you're family. I was like, no, stop. <laughs> now we're in Crash Bandicoot territory. Naughty Dog bringing back the Crash Bandicoot bouncing barrel tendencies. Yeah, that means that there's going to be weasels up at the top. <laughs> I don't know. In business if that's suits. That might be them getting a little too close to the crash <laughs> tendencies. Oh. These are not as hard to judge as the ones in Crash Band. Oh, yeah, no. But the technology is also a little better, so. Melt Man with the power to melt. Ooh! Did you see that? I see. I saw the camera see, flip out. Did you see those pro strats? <laughs> it's the speed runner. That's the speed runner's tactic. We are speed running 100 percent in this game. Isn't that like a category of speed running? Whenever you like, you have to oh, completely 100 yes. percent. Yeah, game. that's a, yeah. That's very. I know a lot of them are like any percent. And those mm -hmm. are the ones where you get like crazy, like one minute run or whatever but like the ones where they're like a hundred percenting and i'm like that's crazy this guy i saw just any percented the new prey game in like seven minutes he did it by just like crouch jumping all over the place <laughs> crazy. um my friend that i tend to watch my friend that i tend to watch uh agdq with not like like, we, we live in different states, but, like, we tend to watch the... watch AG, yeah. AGGQ. And, um... One, we both agreed that one thing that we really enjoy most about certain speedruns is whenever the uh, speedrunner talks through, like, 
the mechanics the, and like why they're doing yeah, what they're doing. Yeah, why does this happen? Why does this work the way it does? I watched a video and it was like uh, it was like the best speed runs or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought it would just be like what ones were like the coolest or but one of them he concluded was just because the person talked through the entirety of it. Yeah. And he was like talking the whole time. He's like and see, like, this is a bottleneck right here. We can't get this any faster because you have to do this. And yeah. you can't get around doing this, you know? And I found that really interesting. Yeah, that's, yeah. Because it's, like, it's less just, Ooh. like, uh, oh, I'm doing the game quickly. And it's just, like, hey, this is all the work I had to put in to be able to do this yeah. all this fast. Doop. Mine. Because you have to imagine. Because, I mean... Because usually with the speedrun community, there's a community, there's a group of people that all speedrun the game, so they have a lot of people on it that can that find tips and tricks and stuff to break the game. Right. And it's, that's just always impressive. It's always amazing just how... It, the amount got, of time you have to put right. into it to try and find those things to break. Yeah, because like, you see these things and it's like, how would anyone figure this out? Yeah. Especially like ones where it's like, you can go through the wall in this one very specific place. It's like... Did they just run into walls right. for, like, ever until one of them finally let them walk through? Which, a lot of times, that's what they do. Like, one of the other ones, it was, like, a video about accidental, like, glitches people found. Mm -hmm. And, like, one of them, he was looking, for a while, he was looking around to see, uh, like, try and find... I think he was playing one of the Spyro games. Oh, God, Austin. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna make it back to shore. It's not gonna happen. Oh, Jack. Uh, he was looking around in one of the Spyro games for like walls that you could like glitch through. Mm -hmm. But then like he didn't think he was gonna find any, so he stopped looking. And then he just like accidentally flew into a wall, and then that happened to be one of <laughs> the walls that you can glitch through. Like, well, that's that's lucky. Remember, uh, I've never played the Spyro games actually. Oh yeah, they're really they're. Great. I mean, I, like they look like they'd be fun. Oh yeah, I played them a long time ago when I was just a wee little lad. Just a, just a wee boy. Just a boy. Okay, well here's the zoomer. Now. I, I don't I think that was... <laughs> I don't think that's exactly what he meant. I think you're supposed to hit him. That. Yeah. So, yeah, like... This is the first place you can use the zoomer. A lot of people don't come to Misty Island first, and then you would just... Uh, the first place you would use it is in Fire Canyon. But we're pro gamers, so... Pro strats... Come on, come back. I just want to kill you. <laughs> it's no big deal. Uh, how many more are there? There's one here and there's one somewhere else. That wasn't very descriptive, but whatever. I mean, you, 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 you use what you can. No, I mean, I'm not wrong. So. My sister used to, whenever we play uh, the the Lego Star Wars games, yeah, she would like have to go for every single stud. That was, like, around. <laughs> and it really annoyed me as a kid. I was like, "You don't need that one." She's like, "I want it." <laughs> I'm like, "Stop having fun with the game! <laughs> You're not playing it right." There's a guy over here. I know it. Where did he go? There, there. he is. Oh, he's a come, he's a go. He's gonna come back down up there, I know. I know it, I believe it. Oh, did I, whenever I hit him, did it just, like, get rid of the mine in front? I think and so. not actually him? Yeah. There you go, there's your power cell. Oh, I thought that mine was gonna hit me, like, as soon as it popped me back in. Get this power cell, and we'll go ahead and get the other one that's in this, this little area. <clears throat> There's a lot of trophies. Yeah, I think it's one for every parasol. You stopped all the mine dropping lurkers. They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the 
chance pad and I'll teleport it back. I'm still using it? No! <laughs> Bring it back! She's like, it just disappears while you're on it. <gasps> no, there's water! Now you're gonna die now! Let's see what happens when you don't listen to me. Oh, I guess that was the last of the, the scout flies. Well, now it ruined my momentum. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm green and purple, we're not playing this anymore. <laughs> oh, God. That's the last one right there. And then Yay. we just have to bring the, the muse back to the dude. I wonder if that's the last of the precursor. <sighs> so close. I will get it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not letting it go. Do you like my car? I had never even heard that song before. <laughs> we... Have you had you heard that song? Oh yeah. What is it from? Like is it Initial from... D? What? Initial D. What's Initial D? It's an anime. Oh, it is from an anime. Mm -hmm. I just figured it's it an was old some... one. I just thought it was some weird song. Like it's a uh, that one and uh, the other common ones that I know are like Running in the Nineties, um, Deja Vu, uh, Be of the Rising Sun. Oh, I can jump. And I think that one's name is Gas, Gas, Gas. Gas, Gas, Gas. I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's an old anime. It's really old. But it's created a lot of memes. <laughs> Specifically Deja Vu. Deja Vu? Mm -hmm. Deja Vu. Is he one of the characters in there? No, no, that's the name of the song. Um... Because, like, the meme is, like, you would play that song as something's drifting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I need three more. See, I knew this would happen. Like, I said we weren't going to 100% it, but once I already 100% like, the first few years, I was like, well, oh, maybe I will. But, I wonder if I could. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in that scene. Yeah, it's just kind of... It just happened. Even in context. I think this happened to me last time I played this game. There's like three ones in some random location. That's right. I think I remember where it is. Let me just go look here first, and then we'll we'll call it a day. But I, I want to say mm. I remember it being like over in this area. Oh, nice. It's like three that are in, like, off the side of one of these platforms over here. This island. Indeed. That's what you're here for, Kill. You're here for your insight. Thanks, Austin. What? I meant it. Uh huh. Well, I in a, meant in a it. dickish way, I yeah. I definitely meant it. Here? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I might look around for him off camera. Whenever we come back, we will probably be going into Fire Canyon. So be looking forward to that. Bye, everybody. See ya.